Hey friends, Dylan Bates here with the Final Cut Bro. So today we're doing my tutorial from my car because my neighbor dog won't shut up. Today we're gonna be doing screen replacements within motion and um, I'm gonna show you a few methods for making the image on the screen look more realistic and how to use drop zones. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so I already have my footage imported that I would like to track. The next step is going to be importing the footage that I would like to put on the screen. Now I strongly recommend that you actually use a photo instead of a video at first, just because your computer can slow down considerably if it's trying to track in a video file, but we can easily switch this out for a video when we're ready. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is import our photo. So go ahead and push Command I or go up to File, Import, and go ahead and just bring in the photo that you would like to track. The next step is we're gonna go up to Behaviors, Motion Tracking, Match Move. We're gonna come down to the type and select four corners. And you'll notice this added four tracking markers to the corners of our photo. The next step is going to be just clicking and dragging these down to the edges of the computer screen. One additional thing you can do is actually push the option key and that will bring up these red crosses which show points of high contrast for good tracking. And it could be an easy way to find the corners of your screen if you're so lucky. However, unfortunately on the bottom left of this screen, it doesn't actually work, so I have to just eyeball it. Now let's go ahead and zoom in and make sure that our edges are as close as they can be and as accurate as possible. It looks like we are all set. Our next step is just to come on over to analyze. Now, if you happen to accidentally click off of it, sometimes it glitches out and it won't let you analyze. So just make sure that you have all of your trackers selected by shift clicking all of them um, and then push analyze and that should do the trick. Now as I'm analyzing this, you'll notice that the image doesn't stick very closely with our tracked footage, but it's actually doing a lot better job than it's showing. It's just not putting all the resources into the rendered preview. So go ahead and just wait it out and you'll see in the end that it probably stuck a lot better than it actually looks. Okay, awesome. I think our shot is well tracked and if we just play through, we can see that it did a very good job. Now in the real world, if we were actually filming this on the screen, it would not come through this clearly. So we're gonna do a few things to help place it within the real world. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is actually use the green screen that came through and that'll add a few more reflections. So go ahead and click and drag your photo and move that down a layer. And we're gonna just call this group screen. We're gonna actually add a key to this original layer. So select that, go up to filters and go down to keying keyer. And already that's doing a really great job because that, that particular color of chroma worked really well with what we're trying to do. So I don't even need to mess with the settings very much. From there, we're actually going to create a duplicate of the surrounding area to create some fake reflections. So go ahead and select that and you can push Command D or right click and go down to duplicate. Now we're gonna drag that layer into our screen group. We're going to add a Gaussian blur and this is just to give a fake sense of reflections happening within the scene. So we'll just blur that like crazy. Now select that layer, go to properties. We're gonna set the X scale to negative 50 and we'll notice that flopped our image. Now we can just find a part of the image that shows some of the background and we'll actually maybe make our scale negative 75. Let's see what that does. Well, it stretches it out a little weirdly, but it's getting the job done. And we can scale that up just a little bit. And now that's gonna provide some reflections onto our screen. Next, we're gonna come down and add a blend mode. So, so make sure that this is selected, go down to blend mode and add the screen blend mode. Now it's already providing some reflections, but they're a little bit intense for what we want. So we're just going to drag down our opacity a bit um, and get it to taste. Now, if we play through, it actually looks like we have some reflections passing through on the screen and it adds a lot more realism to the shot. Okay, so now that we have everything tracked and we have our shot implemented, we can actually change our subscribe layer to a drop zone. So go ahead and select that, go to image, and then set the drop zone type to drop zone. Now we can actually drag any file, any photo, anything into this. So let's say I wanna add in some good old Rick rolling. 
Now we can see that it did a fantastic job. Hey friends, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If it was helpful to you, consider pressing that like button. Consider subscribing if you wanna see more videos just like this one every single week. It's completely free to you, as you know, um, but it also helps me tremendously and is a great form of support. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know down in the comments and I will do my best to answer those. Um, also, I have social media. I've got Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and all of those. So if you want to hit me up, um, it's just at the Final Cut Bro at all of those. So yeah. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you next week.